It's run by the Mexican mafia that controlled drug In the western part of Brazil, prison officials were shocked when a notorious Brazilian gang leader named Clovino da Silva, also known as Shorty, tried to pull off an escape plan. Clovino da Silva, a high-ranking member of a powerful Brazilian drug gang, was serving a 73-year sentence for drug trafficking. Apparently, he grew tired of his life behind bars and decided to hatch an escape plan that seemed like something out of a Hollywood movie. His plan? Dress up as his daughter and simply walk out of the prison gates. To do this, he enlisted the help of his daughter, who visited him in prison. While this may sound right from a comedy sketch, the attempt was quite serious. But as you might expect, things went differently than planned. In a rare glimpse behind the walls of the Lansing Correctional Facility, inmates capture the harrowing reality of a riot that erupted within its confines. As the chaos unfolds, the inmates spare no expense in their mission to wreak havoc. The video captures the aftermath of their destructive spree, with debris strewn about and the facility left in disarray. The footage provides a close-up view of the damage, showcasing the extent of the destruction wrought by the rioting inmates. The atmosphere is tense as the inmates film the aftermath of their actions. Disturbing footage captured inside Lewis Prison reveals a dire situation as inmates set fires and engage in violence. The maximum security unit of the Lewis State Prison. An inmate can be seen adding fuel to the fire as an officer watches on. Over the next half hour, fires would burn on... Check out this wild video from inside Lewis Prison. Inmates go crazy, setting fires everywhere. It's chaos on multiple levels, making you worry about everyone's safety. Officers step in urgently as smoke fills the place and things get serious. Watch how the situation escalates in this maximum security part of Lewis Prison. ...and throw them out of their cells when they don't get what they want. Well, back in November, they were setting fires pretty much every day. But on November 8th, the fires turning into... Inmates are seen manipulating trapdoors, throwing trash outside, and in some cases, using electrical outlets to set fires. Simultaneously, blocks of inmates engage in violent assaults against officers. The unrest reaches alarming levels as the incidents unfold. In a daring but messy escape attempt, a prisoner tried to escape jail through the toilet. The attempt ended up being a big trouble. The prisoner tried to squeeze through the toilet hole in the ground. Unfortunately, he got stuck in the clogged sewer pipes. With his body covered in excrement, two fellow inmates had to pull him back out. <laughs> After the failed escape, the prisoner was returned to his cell, now covered in waste from head to toe. His escape attempt left him in a very messy situation. In a groundbreaking expose, undercover footage from South African prisons sheds light on the rampant corruption amongst staff, revealing a disturbing reality hidden behind bars. Not to search for illegal substances or articles, but to drink brandy and coke with the inmates and eat food stolen from the prison kitchen. This is highly illegal, and it could... In one particularly alarming scene, three inmates are seen indulging in alcoholic beverages within their cell, highlighting the brazenness with which illicit substances are smuggled and consumed behind bars. Miniature cameras were installed by four prisoners at the jail in Bloemfontein over five months. The scenes reveal illicit activities unfolding within the prison walls, including contraband trade, alcohol consumption, and intercourse sold to inmates by warders. In Brazil, a dramatic prison escape was caught on camera. Prisoners tried to break out of jail after a big explosion. <laughs> 
Footage shows dozens of prisoners scrambling to escape. They climb over a high fence, trying to flee the prison. Just moments later, many prisoners start running back toward the jail. Police had reportedly fired shots, causing them to retreat. The escape attempt was quickly stopped by the police. In a powerful initiative to deter juvenile delinquency, a group of teens is taken on a journey through the harsh reality of prison life. You hear that? Now imagine them doing that all night, all night long. All night. Come on. As the teens are led through the cramped cells, the sight of the overcrowded conditions sends a chilling message. They hear the echoes of inmates' voices, the bang of the glass doors, and the heavy, oppressive silence in the air. Are you getting it? There's no love here. Zero. The inmates' words hit home as the teens grapple with the harsh truth of life behind bars. They realize the stark contrast between the freedom they take for granted and the harsh reality faced by those incarcerated. Captured on a surveillance camera inside a Kentucky jail, an escape plan unfolds, almost like a scene straight out of a blockbuster movie. It looks like something out of a movie. Two inmates using trash bins to escape from a Kentucky prison. Authorities say the suspects were rolled out in the bins by fellow... Picture this. Two inmates using trash bins to engineer their escape from the Louisville Metro Correction Center. Unbelievable, right? But that's exactly what happened. According to authorities, their fellow inmates rolled out these two daring suspects in trash bins. Inmates, they then popped out and made their escape from the Louisville Metro Correction Center. Thankfully, both suspects were later apprehended by police and three inmates are now facing charges. For as soon as the coast is clear, the inmates burst out of their hiding spots, poised for a daring escape from the facility. But hold on to your popcorn because here comes the twist. Thankfully, the story takes a turn for the better. Both suspects are later apprehended by the determined police, ending their fleeting taste of freedom. In a daring and audacious security breach, criminals orchestrated a brazen escape attempt at a prison in Paso Fundo, captured on CCTV. The footage shows a pickup truck barreling towards the gate with reckless abandon, crashing through the barrier and creating a path for the fleeing prisoners. As the chaos unfolds, several prisoners seize the opportunity to flee on foot, taking advantage of the breach created by the pickup truck. This is the last glimpse of El Chapo inside his cell pacing calmly, biding his time. Little did anyone know that he was about to execute one of the most daring escapes in recent history. The American government look ridiculous, pacing up and down in his cell, calmly, waiting. These are the last images of Guzman before he makes them. As we watch, he appears to bend forward, focusing on something on the shower floor, a critical moment in his plan. He then sits down, seemingly removing his sandals, and just like that, he vanishes from sight. Then, he sits down, appearing to remove his sandals, and then he vanishes. We now know that beneath that shower was a hidden tunnel, expertly designed to avoid detection by the prison's CCTV cameras. This tunnel would serve as El Chapo's highway to freedom. In a shocking turn of events, a Georgia jailer finds himself at the center of controversy after allegations surfaced of his involvement in supplying contraband to inmates. The jailer's fall from grace is made painfully evident with the uniform stripped from his body in a public display of disgrace. The act serves as a stark warning to others within the institution, a reminder of the consequences of breaching trust and integrity. You come to our jail and do this, this is what it's going to get you. You're a disgrace to this uniform, and you need to go to jail for good. As the sheriff's words echo through the air, the moment's significance is not lost on those in attendance. 
The incident serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of upholding law enforcement's highest standards of conduct and integrity. In Española, New Mexico, police are capturing more than just criminals on their surveillance cameras. They're also catching what they believe are ghosts. When he saw something in the sally port. At first, that was like a polio, like a fly, a moth. And then I saw the legs and it was a human. But not a real human. No. It all started on a regular Saturday night. Officer Carl Romero was on duty, watching the cameras at the police station, when he noticed something unusual in the sally port area. At first, Romero thought it was just a fly or a moth. But as he looked closer, he saw what appeared to be a human figure, though not a real person. It seemed to be a ghost. But not a real human. No. Is this a ghost? So Romero reported it and told his supervisors. Detectives showed us the camera that captured the image. They say there is no way in or... Romero reported the sighting to his supervisors. Detectives reviewed the footage and found no logical explanation. The area was secured, with no way in or out without triggering alarms. Yet, the figure seemed to walk through a secured gate and move toward the old transport cages. A new video shows a dramatic escape attempt during the Compage massacre at a prison. Inside the jail, a group of inmates can be seen gathered by a wall. They are trying to climb over it to escape. Many inmates are crowded at the side of the wall. Some are using a rope to try and climb up. The surveillance camera captures the chaos as inmates scramble to get over the wall. The scene is tense as each person tries their best to escape. This footage shows the desperate measures taken during the Compage massacre. In Mato Grosso, a prison escape attempt took an unexpected turn. A man trying to escape ended up stuck in a hole. The inmate dug a hole in the toilet of his cell, hoping to crawl through it to freedom. But things didn't go as planned. The hole was too small for him to fit through after he realized he was stuck and had no choice but to call for help. The police arrived and worked to free him from the tight spot. It took around two hours to get him out, turning his escape attempt into a major inconvenience for the officers. It's a quiet night inside Paso Fundo prison, but something unusual is happening. An inmate with a cell phone secretly records another inmate trying to escape. In the dim light, the escaping inmate moves carefully and slowly, making his way toward a wall. He checks his surroundings, trying to stay hidden. The inmate behind the camera watches silently, recording the whole scene on his phone. The inmate starts climbing the wall, inching up bit by bit. The camera catches every move, showing the risky escape attempt from a distance. In a disturbing scene captured within the walls of a prison, tensions escalate as two inmates prepare to engage in a violent confrontation. The camera focuses on the two prisoners, their faces displaying signs of aggression and agitation. The aggressor advances toward his opponent, his expression fierce and determined. Other prisoners nearby observe the tense atmosphere. As the situation intensifies, it becomes clear that one of the inmates is fueled by aggression his demeanor suggesting that he may be under the influence of illegal substances. His opponent, also a prisoner, pleads with him to stop. Caught on surveillance camera in a high security Russian prison, the escapee guy had a plan that was as wild as it was hilarious. The 
key to his escape. You guessed it, the meal window. This tiny window was his ticket to freedom, but it was so small that you'd think it was designed for a gnome. He had to get creative. The tension is palpable as everyone wonders, will he make it? He then begins squeezing his way through the meal window, his determination unwavering. Inch by inch, he perseveres until at long last he successfully wriggles his way through the narrow opening, tumbling onto the prison floor below. In a startling display of violence and defiance, a prisoner behind bars unleashes chaos within the confines of the prison walls. <laughs> With anger boiling over, the inmate shows utter disregard for the safety and well-being of others as he launches the heavy object with alarming force. His actions speak volumes about the volatile environment within the prison. As tensions reach a fever pitch, the inmate's aggression knows no bounds. Desperate to break free from his confines, he repeatedly attempts to force open his cage door, displaying a relentless determination to escape. This footage from inside the Cuyahoga County Jail reveals the shocking moment a nurse, Annika Roberts, allegedly smuggled drugs into the facility. In a shakedown of the Coweta County Jail at the end of May, the nurse, Annika Roberts, in the scrubs with a jail inmate at the counter. The move is so subtle. Investigators were tipped off when an inmate allegedly retrieved something from the nurse's pocket and discreetly stashed it in his jumpsuit. The subsequent cell search uncovered the drugs Roberts had allegedly smuggled into the jail, leading to serious consequences. Tip to trouble. The inmate allegedly reaches into Robert's pocket and retrieves something and then drops it down into the front of his jail jumpsuit. Deputies say they search the inmate. Authorities express zero tolerance for such illegal activities, emphasizing that anything crossing the guard line is treated as a felony. The sheriff's office, committed to maintaining a drug-free environment, vows to take stringent action against offenders. Inside a quiet prison pod, one inmate makes a bold and unexpected escape. The surveillance cameras are rolling, capturing every moment. Asked if he could have another minute because he wanted to put his pudding into a cup. Surveillance footage shows what happened next. His tray slot popped open and within... Officer Henry is delivering food trays, stopping at one cell where an inmate asks for an extra minute to transfer pudding into a cup. Suddenly, the six-foot inmate squeezes through the open food slot in just four seconds, landing on his feet outside the cell. He was out and on his feet. I took off running to the main slider to try to get out. The six-foot prisoner had crawled out the food slot. The inmate takes off running, and Officer Henry, startled, runs toward the main exit as the inmate follows closely behind. This escape shows how fast things can change inside a prison. A routine search inside the jail leads to unexpected discoveries. Officers are preparing for a full shakedown, inspecting every cell and leaving no corner unchecked. I found a shape. Uh, this is an illegal weapon. Jack! Come here. The officers start moving inmates out of their cells, one by one. Each inmate goes through a strip search. As the search continues, the officers uncover various items not allowed inside the jail. Among them is a hidden, dangerous homemade weapon, sharp enough to cut like a knife. That's where it was found there. I just moved to the bottom. I see it You don't know nothing about this? Mm -hmm. Well, you will be charged with it because it's found under your bunk. The officers gathered the inmates from the cell where the weapon was found. They plan to interview them, hoping someone will confess. In a daring bid for freedom, several prisoners boldly escape from confinement, their desperate flight captured by bystanders on camera. Footage captured by bystanders shows a group of prisoners scaling the gate and walls of a prison. With adrenaline pumping, the escaped prisoners waste no time making their getaway. They sprint down the street and every step brings them closer to freedom. The 
camera captures the moment as several prisoners pile into the waiting car, their faces a mix of relief and apprehension. With the car now loaded, it quickly speeds away from the scene, leaving behind a trail of dust and uncertainty. Inside a jail, one inmate made a desperate attempt to escape. But this wasn't your usual run for freedom. The inmate decided to try his luck by crawling through the ceiling. Deputies spotted the inmate in the ceiling and ordered him to come down, but he refused, determined to keep going. His escape didn't last long. The ceiling couldn't hold him, and he crashed to the floor, tangled in wires. Officers surrounded him, but even after the fall, he resisted. They had to use a taser to bring him under control. What started as a desperate climb ended with a fall and a lesson on the risks of trying to escape. In a rare glimpse inside the walls of a prison, a shocking video has emerged, shedding light on the dangerous consequences of substance abuse behind bars. I wasn't gonna do it, man. I wasn't gonna do it. He, he, I don't know what he got going on. Spice Land Part 4, man. Look at this shit. He, he got... As the camera pans around the room, it becomes painfully clear that the effects of illegal substance abuse have taken a devastating toll on these inmates. Some sit in a daze, while others struggle to maintain their balance, lost in a haze of intoxication. With a sense of urgency, the prisoner behind the camera documents the scene, revealing the grim reality of addiction within the prison walls. The video serves as a stark warning of the dangers that lurk within. This man was once a member of North Korea's elite special forces. In 2013, he escaped North Korea and sought refuge in China. However, his desperation led him down a path of criminal activities. He was a prospect of deportation back to North Korea where defection is a crime punishable by death. His resolve to avoid this fate led him to formulate a daring escape plan. With meticulous planning and nerves of steel, he managed to pull off a dramatic escape in just three minutes. This is where things get truly remarkable. He reached the wires on the electric fence without being detected using the rope. In a matter of seconds, he skillfully manipulated the wires, causing a short circuit that disabled the entire fence. He scaled the fence and disappeared into the night. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, an inmate named Jeffrey Hope decided to make a bold attempt to escape. The whole event was caught on surveillance camera. Bid for freedom and it's all caught on camera, as you'll see here. Surveillance video shows Jeffrey Hope running out of a holding cell at the county courthouse and then running off down a hallway. It all started when Hope ran out of a holding cell at the courthouse. He sprinted down a hallway, clearly looking for a way out. The surveillance video shows Hope moving fast, trying to make his escape before anyone could stop him. The attempt was for naught, though. Deputies caught him, put him in handcuffs. He was still struggling with them as they put him in the cell. Hope was facing criminal trespassing and theft charges. Now he's... But he wasn't alone for long. Several Hamilton County deputies immediately gave chase. They ran after Hope. He kept running desperately trying to find an exit. Unfortunately for Hope, his plan didn't work out. The deputies quickly caught up to him. Even then, Hope kept struggling, fighting against the deputies as they brought him back to a cell. Inside a jail, a tense situation unfolded one afternoon. What started as a routine check quickly escalated into a full-blown riot among the prisoners. According to the reports, the trouble began when some prisoners refused to go through the usual review process. This review, done during a routine search, was meant to find cell phones, drugs and other illegal items hidden in the cells. But that day, some inmates pushed back, sparking chaos. Once the riot was under control, the guards called all the prisoners out into the open area. They were made to sit down, a necessary step to prevent further trouble, 
and ensure everyone could be accounted for. The prisoners sat quietly, surrounded by guards who were ready for any sign of more unrest. Inside the Indian River Juvenile Correctional Facility in Massillon, Ohio, something unexpected happened. A group of young inmates decided to take matters into their own hands, leading to a chaotic and dangerous situation. Surveillance footage from the Ohio Department of Youth Services shows the start of the incident. Twelve youth inmates managed to steal keys from a staff member and broke out of their rooms. They ran towards the facility's school area, causing destruction along the way. The situation escalated when the inmates barricaded themselves inside a classroom. They stacked desks, chairs, and other furniture against the doors, making it clear they were not planning to surrender easily. The surveillance footage ends with a striking image. One of the inmates reaches the camera and pours a blue liquid over the lens, blocking the view entirely. A tumultuous scene unfolds at the Provisional Prison House, CPP, in Aparecida de Goiania, as inmates ignite a rebellion following an attempted break-in at two isolation areas. Footage from inside the prison shows a group of agitated inmates gathered on an open basketball court, some with their faces concealed by shirts. The atmosphere is tense as inmates can be seen breaking a concrete bench amidst burning mattresses in the background. In a display of defiance, the inmates vent their frustrations, their anger palpable as they lash out against the system. The situation escalates as the rebellion gains momentum within the prison walls. In a concerted effort to maintain safety and order within the correctional system, Deputy Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Tabang Makwetla, led a raid on the Johannesburg Correctional Center. The objective is to root out contraband items that pose a threat to both inmates and staff. For themselves. Each time we discover new things and tricks that these people, you know, uh, 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 devise, the more they create, you know, new... With precision and determination, the prison guards begin their search, inspecting inmates and conducting thorough searches of cell rooms. In their quest to eliminate contraband, they scrutinize every corner and examine every hiding place. You know, established. So, all of these uh, wrong things that were inside there, they are individuals who are going to be accountable for them. As the search progresses, many contraband items are uncovered and confiscated. Illegal substances, weapons, wired gadgets and illicit cell phones are all potential tools for violence and disruption within the prison walls. During a Saturday evening, four correctional officers were transported to local hospitals following an incident in a tier designated for detainees with problematic behaviour, including those involved in sexual misconduct. In the Super Maximum Security Division, known for housing problematic detainees, a significant disturbance occurred. The detainees, who are housed in this particular tier due to their involvement in sexual misconduct, took a drastic and troubling step. These individuals had been issued specially designed jumpsuits in an attempt to destroy these uniforms, they used a microwave to ignite a wick, hoping to set the jumpsuits on fire. This reckless action led to a small fire and considerable smoke within the living unit, a solitary man in a dimly lit cell with a plate of food just out of reach. The meal, carefully placed just beyond the bars, seems like a cruel reminder of his situation. Come from, long as you get it. 
With his improvised tool ready, he reached out through the narrow gap in the bars. His movements were deliberate and steady as he maneuvered the bottle towards the plate of food. Each movement required precision and patience. <laughs> After several attempts and adjustments, the man's efforts paid off. The plate of food, once out of reach, was now within his grasp. In a daring bid for freedom, inmates at Kakol Prison embarked on an elaborate escape plan, only to have their efforts thwarted in a dramatic turn of events. Carro na caixa e ao realizar uma revista mais minuciosa na cela, foi localizado um tampão que, ao ser retirado, foi encontrado terra dentro de camisetas. The video captures the clandestine tunnel dug by inmates to break free from captivity. The tunnel, painstakingly excavated over time, is a testament to the inmates' determination to escape. Martelos artesanais, feito pelos próprios detentos. Após a tentativa de fuga, o diretor disse que os 12 detentos vão ser transferidos para outras unidades. Upon uncovering the tunnel, immediate action was taken to prevent further escape attempts. The safety and security of our facility remain our top priority. On March 17th, in a daring escape reminiscent of The Great Escape, two inmates managed to break free from the Saint Jerome jail in Quebec, Canada, by clinging to a cord attached to a helicopter. It all began when two accomplices hijacked a helicopter and forced the pilot to fly to the Saint Jerome jail. The daring plan was set in motion, and the helicopter descended towards the prison courtyard with a cord hanging down for the inmates to grab onto. The two inmates managed to break free from the confines of the prison, leaving authorities baffled. But here's the twist in the tale. The escape was short-lived. Just a few hours after their daring helicopter getaway, both inmates were recaptured by law enforcement. In a stunning turn of events, chaos erupted inside the courthouse as a prisoner awaiting trial made a daring bid for freedom. Phone cameras captured every heart-stopping moment. Flanked by guards, the prisoner sits in the dock as the trial proceeds. He suddenly moves, grabbing a chair and smashing it against the window. The people inside the courtroom react with shock and confusion. <laughs> Ignoring the guard's warning, the prisoner breaks the glass until a large enough opening is created. He leaps through the broken window and disappears. In the distance, the camera captures the distant figures of the guard and the escaping prisoner as they disappear around a corner, the sound of their pursuit fading into the distance. The US Attorney's Office dropped the bomb, charging 83 people involved in this gang. They were pulling the strings on drug trafficking and violent assaults from inside the cozy confines of LA County jails. I want to focus on what I will call the jail's indictment, which outlines a criminal enterprise run by the Mexican Mafia that controlled drug trafficking, and extortion activities throughout. According to the US attorney, this bust is a major hit to the Mexican mafia. They messed up their communication game and took down the leaders controlling the jails. Now, here's where it gets wild. The investigation, codenamed Operation Dirty Thirds. It exposed their system. Drugs smuggled into jail had to be sold first, and the cash went straight to the mafia leader. Gang leaders on the streets. But wives and girlfriends were not the only link to the outside world. This morning, we also arrested a lawyer who is accused of being a key facilitator for the organization. The Mexican Mafia has been running a whole illegal government since the 50s. They had this sneaky system to communicate, control territories, and collect taxes on drug sales through extortion. It's like they had their shady empire behind bars. Now they're shuffling the suspects around to disrupt the gang's hold. In a shocking turn of events, WCPO has obtained exclusive video footage of two inmates escaping from the Hamilton County Justice Center. (laughs) 
Despite the absence of a deputy enforcement officer near the property clerk, Cordell saw her chance and made her move. With swift precision, she slipped into the property area undetected, hiding behind a pole and wall. With calculated timing, Cordell discarded her inmate garb and seamlessly joined a group leaving the jail. Her proximity to them during the property return process allowed her to slip away unnoticed, evading detection by the unsuspecting officer. In the dead of night, when most were fast asleep, an incredible escape unfolded. CCTV captured the daring breakout, leaving authorities baffled and the public in awe. Under the cover of darkness, a group of inmates, driven by desperation and determination, made their move. They knew the risks, but were willing to take them for a shot at freedom. But what's perhaps most shocking about this escape is how easily they could access the prison's front door. Security measures that should have been in place were nowhere to be seen. In a startling turn of events, bystanders captured on video the daring escape attempt of a detainee from Salvador Prison. With heart-stopping suspense, onlookers watch as the prisoner takes a daring leap, his bid for freedom unfolding before their eyes. As the prisoner reaches the pinnacle of the wall, the tension mounts and gasps can be heard from the crowd below. The prisoner's silhouette is seen against the prison walls as he makes his daring escape, his fate uncertain as he disappears from view. The Lake County Jail in Indiana was rocked by a shocking incident as a man launched a brazen attack on the facility. The suspect entered the jail's lobby shortly before noon, carrying a jug believed to contain an accelerant. The footage from surveillance cameras captures the suspect dousing the lobby with the liquid before igniting it and quickly fleeing the scene. Surveillance footage from inside the Polesmoor prison caught when a tactical team rolled in like a storm in the wee hours, turning up more than just sleepy eyes. Brace yourselves for a cell shakedown like no other. In a daring move, tactical teams swarmed Polesmoor Prison in a surprise early morning raid. And what were they after? Well, let's just say it's not your typical wake-up call. Cell phones, sharp objects, and a sprinkle of drugs were on their contraband checklist. The cells held more surprises than a magician's hat scissors, cell phones, and illegal substances. Um, like drugs. And uh, we were able to, to, uh, to get uh, those that were there without uh, uh, any... Looks like some inmates were gearing up for their version of a Friday night party, complete with unexpected goodies. Correctional services were on a mission, searching high and low, leaving no cell unturned. It's like they hit the contraband jackpot, seizing the tools of the trade for a behind-bars escapade. In a jaw-dropping display of determination and agility, CCTV footage from a Karnataka prison captured the unbelievable moment when an inmate defied all odds to make a daring escape. He makes a daring leap as he reaches the top, clearing the wall with a heart-stopping jump. However, upon landing, he stumbles and struggles to regain his balance. With heart-pounding suspense, the inmate steadies himself, but not without consequences. The impact of the landing takes its toll, leaving him visibly injured and in pain. 
In a daring escape reminiscent of a Hollywood thriller, two inmates from a Mumbai jail make a bold attempt to break free. In this shocking footage, two inmates are seen working on an elaborate escape plan within the confines of their jail. Seemingly undeterred by the watchful eyes of security cameras, they meticulously prepare for what appears to be an impossible mission. With audacity on display, the inmates throw a makeshift rope outside the jail premises, signalling their intent to escape. The question on everyone's mind, what is happening in the control room? Despite the bold escape happening in broad daylight, there seems to be a lack of immediate response from the authorities. The inmates manage to execute their plan without raising any alarms. In a daring attempt to break free from the confines of their prison cells, four inmates were caught on CCTV as they scaled the walls of the facility in a bid for freedom. The footage shows the four male prisoners climbing onto the prison's roof, their movements cautious yet determined, while other inmates watch from below. As they reach the roof, their fellow prisoners pass them a large cloth, likely intended to aid in their escape. With the makeshift tool in hand, the inmates crawl towards a roof net, their eyes fixed on the distant horizon and the promise of liberty. However, not all prisoners were willing to risk it all for freedom. One inmate hesitated as he approached the roof net, his resolve faltering at the last moment. The FSIN crew decides to play fashion police with Iskakov. They snatch his stuff and tell him to throw on the threads of another inmate with a lowered social status. <laughs> Props to Iskakov, though. He's having none of it, and flat out refuses to wear someone else's outfit. And guess what happens next? Well, surprise, surprise. They resort to physical violence and even bring in heavy artillery, aka special means. <laughs> Now this isn't some messed up reality show, it's a blatant violation of human rights. The Gulagu.net project is calling out the Russian authorities to step in, investigate this madness, and slam the brakes on these FSN employees who think it's cool to play dress-up and resort to violence. In a brazen display of defiance, a drone dropped contraband materials for inmates inside the Cuyahoga County Jail's Euclid complex. A group of male inmates engaged in a game of cornhole, their faces lit up with laughter and camaraderie. As the game continues, one inmate looks up to the sky, a sense of anticipation crossing his features. In the footage captured by surveillance cameras, a dark object descends from above, landing on the ground near the inmates. The inmate quickly retrieves the dropped items, a package containing marijuana and a cell phone, before discreetly walking away to join the others against the back wall. In a dramatic turn of events at the Nelson Hungary Penitentiary, security officers thwarted an escape attempt by a detainee. <laughs> With desperation in his eyes, the detainee concocts a risky plan, fashioning a rope from makeshift materials in a bid to scale the walls and flee the penitentiary. But as he descends from the roof, his intentions become clear and security officers spring into action. <laughs> In a matter of moments, the detainee's escape attempt is thwarted as security officers converge on the scene, 
preventing his flight to freedom and ensuring the safety of the surrounding area. In a scene straight out of a nightmare, chaos erupts in the streets of Princess Isabel PB as a mass escape unfolds from the local public jail. Residents are caught off guard as a wave of escaped prisoners floods the town. With each passing moment, the situation escalates as some prisoners resort to violence and theft in their bid for freedom. Fear grips the community as the realization sets in that their tranquil town is now a battleground. With prisoners running amok and law enforcement stretched thin, the streets become a scene of pandemonium. It's about a 34-year-old man who made headlines this week after a dramatic escape from prison and his subsequent capture. Let's dive into the details. Witnesses reported seeing a man sprinting down the crowded avenue his movements frantic and determined. Despite the man's impressive speed and agility, the officers were equally determined. The chase stretched across several blocks, weaving through traffic and narrowly avoiding pedestrians. It was a tense scene, with each twist and turn raising the stakes. Eventually, the man's endurance began to wane. The relentless pursuit by the police began to take its toll, and fatigue set in. The man was finally in custody. In the depths of a grim and daunting prison, an unexpected scene unfolds, one captured by a courageous young woman's camera. Presos fugiram na madrugada dessa quinta-feira, e a gente está aqui próximo ao muro, onde foi cavado um buraco, onde eles provavelmente fugiram. The young woman filming determined and visibly anxious, focuses on a crucial detail, a narrow hole barely large enough for one person to squeeze through. This is the escape route, a desperate bid for freedom carved into the fabric of their confinement. Around the area, scattered prison uniforms lie abandoned, each piece of clothing, once worn by the inmates, now serves as a testament to their daring escape. A suspect makes a daring escape from custody outside an Indiana jail, jumping from a squad car and fleeing under a closing gate. He was recaptured two days later. It all began outside an Indiana jail, where a suspect, whose identity has not yet been disclosed, found an opportunity to make a break for it. While being transported, the suspect managed to slip out of the squad car and make a daring leap from the vehicle. With impressive agility, the suspect landed on the ground and swiftly headed towards the jail's entrance. As the squad car's officers scrambled to react, the suspect reached a crucial obstacle, a gate that was slowly closing. A daring escape happened in St. Francois County Jail during the night. New video from the St. Francis County Sheriff's Office shows the moment five inmates hit the road after making an escape Tuesday night. Two of them can be seen rolling under the exit gate. The escape began with an unusual method, plumbing pipes. According to reports, the five inmates managed to break out through the jail's plumbing system it's an escape plan that seems straight out of a movie, but the reality is quite alarming for local authorities. Moments later, they pull to the gate in a stolen dark gray 2009 Scion. Three others hop in. I mean, five people all at once. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. The scene takes a dramatic turn as surveillance footage captures two of the escapees picking up the remaining three inmates. They were seen in a stolen sedan near a Centene Corporation parking lot. On the afternoon of August 27th, 
a group of inmates managed to break free from their confines in one of the most audacious escapes ever witnessed. According to initial reports, the prisoners exploited structural weaknesses and a lapse in security measures to access the roof. Once there, they took advantage of maintenance equipment and tools that had been left unsecured. Witnesses described the scene as chaotic. As the escape unfolded, police and emergency services scrambled to contain the situation. Eyewitnesses reported seeing multiple inmates descending from the roof and fleeing into the surrounding streets. In a harrowing account of unrest and violence, a prisoner inside the POG in Aparecida de Goiania documents the turmoil of a prison rebellion. The situation escalates rapidly as tensions flare and violence erupts, leaving behind a trail of destruction and suffering. Injured prisoners, their cries of pain echoing through the corridors. One prisoner displaying a bullet, a stark reminder of the deadly consequences of the riot. Amidst the turmoil, the sound of gunshots reverberates through the prison, sending shockwaves of fear and uncertainty throughout the facility. The situation becomes increasingly dire as authorities struggle to regain control. In South Africa's correctional facilities, hiding contraband can be a challenging task. One creative approach involves using common items to conceal prohibited devices. Right start dismantling. You can see there, there's a cell phone coming out. Okay. At first glance, this Nivea lotion appears to be just an ordinary bottle. But as we'll reveal, it's hiding something much more valuable inside. Close as it was. There's a trick from the offenders hiding. By placing the cell phone inside the empty bottle and sealing it, the inmates create a convincing disguise. From the outside, it's a standard lotion bottle, but inside, it holds a fully functional phone. It begins with a seemingly innocuous device, a drone. While drones are widely used for photography, deliveries and recreational purposes, their versatility has also attracted the attention of those looking to exploit their capabilities for illicit activities. In this particular case, the drone was rigged with a cleverly concealed package. The package, containing contraband, was carefully secured to ensure it could be transported discreetly. Upon reaching the designated cell window, the drone's operator skillfully lowers the package into the prison. The window, often only slightly open, provides just enough space for the contraband to be delivered. On a bright day, the normally calm and secure environment of this prison was shaken by an unexpected event. As the footage reveals, the two men are seen jumping the prison wall with surprising agility. Their striped jumpsuits make them stand out starkly against the white of the prison walls. They've planned their escape meticulously. Landing on the other side, they immediately break into a sprint, vanishing quickly from the camera's view. The chase is on, but their initial success has given them a head start. Outside the detention cell stands a man dressed in a sleek black shirt, ready to showcase a unique method of exiting and re-entering the cell. Here, we see the man, known for his expertise in escape techniques, standing in front of a sturdy cell. This isn't just about brute strength or luck. It's about mastering the art of escaping and returning. Yes. Yes. 
Ah, okay, get it. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> With a deliberate and fluid motion, he begins to maneuver his body. Watch how he uses leverage and balance to navigate the confined space. Each movement is precise, aimed at showcasing not just physical skill, but also strategic thinking. In a unique twist to prison life in Ecuador, inmates recently enjoyed a refreshing and rare day of leisure by the pool. <laughs> The pool day offered the inmates a break from their routine, giving them a chance to unwind and socialize. Among the various activities, one standout moment was the impressive display of skill by an inmate dressed in a black shirt. With a graceful leap and an expertly executed back dive, he demonstrated impressive control and technique. His performance was met with cheers and applause, highlighting the sense of community and shared enjoyment among the inmates. Around 150 employees from Susepe and the Brigada Militar were involved in a comprehensive search of the facility. According to regional delegate Jose Marle Frigetto, the operation is conducted regularly to maintain order and safety. The search covered all areas of the prison, including the cells, kitchen, courtyard and classrooms. During the operation, several items were discovered, including saws, inventory materials, cell phones and drugs. Delegate Frigetto emphasized that these searches are crucial for the safety of the staff, inmates and the community at large.